Hey, welcome back to the channel, YouTube. We are out here at uh, Cedar Hill State Park in Texas, and we're gonna give you our van tour. I know some of you guys have been asking for a van tour, so we come out here today and we're gonna do a van tour. So let's sit back, enjoy the video, and walk to our van. This is our 2022 Thor Motor Coach Talaro. Uh, it sits on the Ram ProMaster 3500 chassis. Comes equipped with a 27-gallon uh, freshwater tank, 13 gray and 13 black. Uh, has heat, electric hookups. It works. towing package came with back racks but we replaced the bike racks with the uh, little luggage box because uh, the bikes that we have are electric bikes and they're too heavy uh, for the bike rack that's on it which is why we utilize the towing package uh, to carry our bikes when we want to transport they all come equipped with a 16 foot awning has awning lights as well. Our particular model is the 20K. I will post a link uh, in the description uh, to Thor's site that shows you the other models. We've had it since uh, January of 2022. And I think we've got about close to 7,000 miles on it. I'm not going to go up in too much particulars on the uh, outside and what it comes with and everything because like I said, I'll post a link in the description to uh, show uh, the other models and uh, what they offer as well. Uh, we're also going to do another video to show the mods and updates that we've done since we've had it. Uh, and then we'll uh, talk about some likes and dislikes uh, of the model as well. I mean, so far we're pretty pleased with it. We enjoy it. Gets us where we want to go. We can park in where we want to park. Uh, and it's a joy to drive. Okay, so next up we'll go to the inside, take a look at the inside and show some of the features. Okay, just a little bit of view of our inside cab. I know people have been asking how do we make these things work inside. First we have the two front seats. They both spin around most of the time. Um, Whenever we stop, if we don't pull this one around, I'll pull this one around so that I can um, do any work that I need to do or eat. We have a table that slides up and then over. So usually if I have anything to do, I'll sit here and do my work. Okay, going inside, um, we have a drawer here, which is miscellaneous whatnots. I'll start, I guess, back up in here. We have some storage area up here where we keep our pillows, um, the um, covers for the windows, usually store back here. Miscellaneous stuff up here, like our glasses, um, just miscellaneous things there. And um, our lagoon table. Lagoon table oh, stores up top too. Can't really see down here, but the sides are very deep, so sometimes I'll store things down there along with whatever I'm drinking. We have a cup holder. Also up front, you can't see it, but we also have um, storage here and also um, down here. We have three um, overhead storage bins. We usually keep our blankets, miscellaneous things up here. That we take out from here. The chair that you see, it uh, folds out, which before I get to that, up under here is also more storage. When you open up, pull off this out, there is another deep storage space here. I usually keep miscellaneous overflow things like cups, uh, paper goods, just whatever we need that won't fit up in the bins. So this pull, uh, pulls out, you can pull out just this end, sometimes I'll pull out just this end if I just want to um, lounge. Whenever we get ready to go to the sleep for the night, we'll pull the whole entire um, bed out. This is uh, our pillow topper, which we had these covered with um, 
two sheets. We can um, take it off and wash it any time. Like I said, clean your blankets and pillows up here. Um, these blinds go up and down. And you just have to be at the right angle to get it up. The windows open. We also have um, lighting here and here. It's a speaker. Lighting here, here, speaker. Um, moving down, let's see. Of course, we have TV, countertop for our kitchen. This is uh, the sink stove, which we keep this up here so that we won't hear the rattling. It's just a um, drying station here. We have three cabinets up here. Usually, we keep electronics up here, um, kitchen stuff up here, spices, cups, um, some of our um, dry goods we'll keep up here. Um, three and our new ice maker. Oh. <laughs> Don't yeah. leave home without it. Exactly. We found that out pretty quick during the summer in Florida. Um, here we have a cabinet that opens up here, usually more electronics. It opens here, more electronics. These three are four drawers. We have our um, utensils in here. Um, just miscellaneous kitchen gadgets and stuff in here. Plates, bowls, and then another storage, which usually we'll keep some more dry goods and I'll keep my teas and coffees and stuff down here. Let's see what else? Um, uh, refrigerator, we have um, plenty of space and then we have the freezer which was a nice feature separate refrigerator and freezer and that was his must have <laughs> okay. we have um, two sets of three drawers here we have his and her if it doesn't fit in these three drawers I usually have to leave it so I'm working on that I'm working on trying to minimize it to down to three drawers so and they're pretty deep. I can, believe it or not, I can fit quite a bit in here. The Florida trip, I did have to use some of the under the bed storage. Okay, just saying. All right. And of course, his three drawers keeps me to where I'm not overpacking so much. Okay. Oh, before I move on, we did replace our faucet with the Brita. That was also a must because we found that we were always trying to buy water. Um, and I drink a lot of water um, during the day and um, this has been a lifesaver just having the Brita um, attached to it to where I can always fill up my, my water. Okay. We have our microwave down here. Um, it is a convection also. I'm still working on trying to figure out how that works. Don't really know. Um, of course we have blind, uh, blind over here that goes up and provides some... Um, uh -oh. can open the screens can stay closed or you can open it up fully and we added these racks or just miscellaneous and then usually we'll put like our fruits and stuff in here whenever we go on a long trip here okay. switch around let me come okay but I need to... okay now back to the bathroom area of course this right here is the shower curtain that you can wrap all the way around we have my efficient other added some shelves and took out the um, hanging rack because we really don't hang our clothes when we do that. Usually Blackstone is down here. We have the collapsible um, bucket which also is a cutting board. So usually we just put miscellaneous stuff up in here too. And this is our bathroom area so this this was another deal breaker that we had to have in the vehicle was an actual bathroom it's a wet bath which means you have your toilet and shower all in one but it is a bathroom and it does work and we do use, we it. use it we have two drawers here keep our towels and stuff down here which um, we bought the um, what was the name of those towels that we bought? They were microfiber called? microfiber fiber and we usually hang them from the door and they dry super super quick and then more storage here for things that we are packing when we go for a long way. 
Um, another added addition that hubby did was the racks here for us to put all of our stuff, hang all of our stuff. We do have a medicine cabinet and he also added some, um, I guess some board here to keep stuff from falling out because it just had a lip and that was always falling out. Whenever you open up the cabinet, everything was just kind of falling out. So that was a good added addition. Um, of course shower and like you said, it is a wet bath and we do use it. Um, here's your sink. Um, tricky sometimes whenever you are Whenever this gets full and you're closing it, if you're not level, it will kind of sometimes spill on the floor. But what's great about it is this is a wet bath, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see, I can think of anything. Fan up in here. Oh, and we did add the um, wood step down here. I guess that's what you call it right now. Teak. Teak. Uh, step up. Yep, and that kind of keeps us from stepping directly on the floor, and it helps it to dry. And then we just added this um, open and close um, trash can, which we really like. We found that one when we were in Florida. And then this is our garage area. Uh, what was the uh, ladder to get to the top of the roof? Uh, my trusty axe. And then we keep uh, some of our uh, dump gear uh, filters for the water, the water hose. Uh, so our water and dump gear uh, down up in there. This vehicle also comes with uh, two doors that open up pretty wide in the back. Handy dandy little toilet paper roll there that folds back into itself when done. So again this is the 2022 Thor Tolaro motor coach. Uh, it's out by Thor motor coach on the uh, Ram chassis. Uh, so again, we'll post some links uh, in the description and I'll also uh, put some uh, deals on the actual floor plans that it comes with. And like I said, we, we enjoy it. it this, is, this is our, our road hog. Okay guys, so that sums up our uh, van tour. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Uh, we will be doing, uh, like I said, another video on our mods. Uh, we'll also talk about, uh, we'll do five likes and five dislikes. Because on every RV, there's some things that you like and there's some things that you don't like. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, please uh, subscribe, like, share, uh, and hope to see you in the next video. And thanks for watching. Take care. We'll Bye. see you soon.